this is the second video of five that I am posting this week all about Honest Beauty. If you didn't watch yesterday's review of Honest Beauty's base products, I will link it in the cards up here and you can go watch that one. But today, let's get into Honest Beauty's cheek products, namely their setting powder, cream blushes, lit powder blush, and their powder bronzer and powder highlight. Today I went for a very wearable, dewy, lightweight face of makeup, so you guys can see the versatility of this brand. I will be wearing different makeup looks every day this week as well, so you can kind of see all the different looks you can get out of these makeup products. Without further ado, let's get started with these swatches. Right, hair is back, base products are on. Let's see about these cheeks, if we can't make some magic happen. Actually, before I put any cheek products on, I did wanna show you guys the Honest Beauty Invisible Loose Blurring Setting Powder. Loose Invisible Blurring Powder, maybe. All of those words are in there. They're just, they're in some kind of order. I meant to show this to you in my video yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, again, I'll link it up in the cards, but mine is dirty because I use this so much. It is actually not kidding, not yanking your leg. My favorite setting powder I've ever tried. So to start, I'm just gonna pop this on. I put on the CC cream today. Like I have a relatively light and kind of dewy face of makeup. So I just wanna hit like under the eyes and maybe on the chin. This does have a net. And then I usually take some on my powdering brush, flip the cap on and just use the cap to kind of coat the brush. You guys can see this glow here. Hopefully you'll see how this just kind of blurs and takes that away in a really gorgeous way. And I usually just kind of pack it on the areas I want, kind of in the center of the face and underneath the eyes, and then I'll blend it out. I still want my glowiness, which we're gonna add in with some of the cheek products in a sec. But this is the side of the face without any powder. This is the side with, I'm in love with this powder. It's incredible, especially because it is sensitive skin friendly. It is completely fragrance free, smells like nothing. It just does its job. Oh my gosh, I need to turn off my notification sound. Sorry if you're hearing that. I'm not sure if the mic is picking that up. All right, that is on. And then just to make sure that I am still keeping that nice dewy, perfectly blended face, I'm just gonna use a damp sponge to pat that powder into place. Now we are ready for bronzer and I am so excited to show you this bronzer. This is actually one of the luminizing glow powders from Honest Beauty. You can see how much I use it just by looking at the pan, but I do wanna swatch it for you like so. And hopefully you can see the reflect. And then Honest Beauty has another powder that they call a luminizing powder that is supposed to be the same formula. That is a highlight. And even though I'm not gonna put this on quite yet, I do wanna swatch that next to it just so you can see how that looks. So obviously the highlight product has a lot more shimmer to it, but both are just completely stunning. So the way that I usually apply the bronzer, and this is a bronzer shade on me, but the beauty of it is if you had deep skin, it has enough of a reflect to it that I bet it would be a highlighter on you. But I'm gonna use this traditional blush brush. It's just kind of slanted. I use this for a lot of my powder bronzers. Tap off excess. And then I just wanna do one side of the face so you guys can see how incredible this product is. I was really excited to film this categorized video today of all the cheek products in this collection because I have a lot to say about them. And of all the products that we're gonna review today, I think this is my favorite one for two reasons. One, the sheen in it is not glittery by any means. It is just kind of a glow from within, pearlescent kind of shimmer. And I know a lot of people out there do not like pearlescent or like any kind of shimmer in their bronzers. A lot of people love just a matte bronzer. But the beauty of this is that the shimmer in it makes it look like you just have healthy hydrated skin. I don't have another product with this kind of shimmer in it. So this kind of, I feel like shimmer isn't even the word, just glow. So this is the side without this is the side with at the moment. And the other thing that I love about this bronzer is that it's hard to use too much of it. So I'm gonna apply this to the other side of my face as well. And I think this is also kind of perfect for today's look because I am going for a slightly more natural glow from within, but nothing outrageously carved out on the face. And then I'm going to tap off excess and hit the sides of my nose. And I have like a bump in my nose, so I usually like to put bronzer on that area. I don't like to highlight it and bring it forward. I usually just highlight up here and on the tip of my nose. And then I'm just going to take some tap excess 
and on the outside of the lid using the exact same brush. I know this is gigantic, but to be fair, I do have kind of gigantic eyes. And I'm just gonna use that as the color of my lid today. I'm gonna keep talking about them in the order I'm going to apply them today. So next we have their blushes. I have two of their cream blushes in the shades Coral Peach and Peony Pink. And then I got one of their lit powder blushes. These are a little bit newer release wise. And this is in the shade Frisky. I am not sure which one of these I am going to use today on my face, but let me swatch them for you. Starting with the cream blushes, this is Peony Pink and Coral Peach. And then moving on to the powder blush, we've got Frisky. I wanna move those around in the light a little bit for you guys so you can see. Obviously the cream blushes have some natural hydration and therefore shine to them, but this powder blush also has some nice, really subtle shimmer in it that's kind of similar to the shimmer that I love in the bronzer. Because I wanna go dewy today, even though the lit powder blush does have some shine to it, I think I'm gonna stick to one of the creams. And I'm kind of feeling the like true baby pink one in the shade Peony Pink. So I I think I'm gonna go with that. And while I apply this, tell you guys what I think. So for the cream blushes, I will be honest, I feel like I don't use these quite as much as some of the others in my collection because I remember them being, whoa, that's a lot. I'm gonna take some of that product over here. I remember them being kind of sticky, like don't fully dry down, but we're gonna play with that today because I think that might've just been because I was not that experienced in makeup when I first started playing with these. Take a little bit of that onto the eye as well. But I will say that they have always looked nice on the skin. As is true of a lot of cream products, I prefer to use a damp sponge to blend them out. And I suggest you do the same, but I do dip a stippling brush into cream blushes sometimes and just kind of stipple them onto the cheeks, which also works. I'm gonna pop a little bit on the nose and whatever is left on the sponge on the forehead. Tap a little bit more of the excess onto the eyes as well. Okay, I've let that dry down a little bit just because I did use the damp sponge. I wanted to give it a second to really soak into the face. And I think I have to take back the word sticky. I would call this dewy and hydrated and it's actually quite comfortable. I also think you could probably just powder this very lightly and it would give you zero issues. Talking about the cream blushes compared to the powder blush, I have noticed that the powder blush has a little bit more staying powder than the cream blushes, which might just kind of be true of all cream blushes versus powder blushes, eh, depending on the formula. But I do think that the actual look of the cream blushes on the cheeks is gorgeous. And if you are thinking about this powder blush formula down here, just no. Let me blend this out a bit so you can kind of get an idea. You can see that the original swatch has a lot of staying power because it had some time to set down. That may give you an idea of how this blends. But I also want to say that this powder blush does not emphasize texture on the face. The shimmer to it is, again, not even a shimmer. It's like a glow. It definitely accomplishes that lit from within look that a lot of us go for. But I couldn't review a glowy powder blush without letting you know if it emphasizes texture. I have rosacea and tough skin and I like the powder blush a lot. I actually have used the powder blush in this collection more so as an eyeshadow than I have as an actual blush, just because I love the look of it. Now I kind of want to do that just to show you guys. I mean, why not? I'm just going to get some on this brush, start on this outer edge, kind of work into the crease a little bit and show you guys what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I did not think this is where this eye look was going, but hey. I'm gonna rock it. So that's that lit powder blush in the shade Frisky on the eyes. I do this often. Moving on to the highlight. The highlight is this nice kind of golden champagne-y color. This does come out looking very natural. And what I often do and I'm going to do today just to show you is use a highlighter brush. This is the one from e.l.f. and dust it on the area that I want. And today I'm gonna go pretty heavy on the highlight because I'm going for a glowy look anyway. I hope you can see how that almost gives like a blurring effect to wherever you place it too. Put that on the nose and my bridge. Oh, on the cupid's bow. And I'll pop a little onto the eyebrow too. <laughs> I do kind of go crazy with this stuff. A little bit on the forehead. And then even though it looks gorgeous on its own like this, I just go over and pat it in with a sponge. And voila, we have this very shiny, dewy face of makeup. Again, there is no emphasis on my texture from this product. It is simply glow from within. I woke up with skin this hydrated. All right, to finish up, I'm going to pop on this lip balm from Honest Beauty, and then I will take my hair down, zoom you back out a little bit, and we'll talk about these products. All right, let's talk about these cheek products. Price-wise, the Invisible Loose Blurring Powder is $19.99. Both the cream blushes and the lip powder blushes are $12.99 a piece, which I think is phenomenal for what you get. I've had that peony blush for a while, the one that I have on my cheeks today 
today, the cream one, and I still have not used it up. And I use it relatively often, especially when I first bought it, I used it a lot. And then the Luminizing Glow powders are also $19.99. So same price point as the Invisible Blurring Powder. The interesting thing about Honest Beauty is that it's kind of hard to get a matte finish, like a whole face of matte products from this brand. And I think the cheek products kind of reflect that. They don't have matte cheek products. Oh, I should take this down. <laughs> All of Honest Beauty's makeup products kind of put an emphasis on glowing from within and looking hydrated. They also have a lot of like skin benefit claims on their makeup saying, oh, the ingredients that we use are going to help your skin. Now, a lot of makeup brands claim that. I don't know how true that is with this brand. I think I'm going to break that down more so in Friday's video, but it's kind of funny because a little less than a decade ago, a brand not having any matte makeup products would have been a huge deal breaker for a lot of people. But nowadays, glow is the thing lightweight coverage is the thing. And the interesting part, if you haven't watched yesterday's base products video is Honest Beauty does have full coverage products and even high pigment products. So it doesn't hit me as much as like a Glossier brand where the point of the entire makeup line that they own is like, just get a wash of color on your face. It's impossible to get high pigment. That's not true of Honest Beauty. You can build up pigment in a lot of their products, but their color products are beginner friendly in the way that it is hard to apply too much. I know I said that about the bronzer in this video and like, I still have that bronzer on my face, but it is not a lot. It isn't assaulting to the eyes. And that's not just because I have experience applying makeup. It's because this product is just, there's something about it. Anyway, if you're looking for a brand that does have good ingredients, that is affordable, has some really beautiful shades that are all neutral, by the way. I'm going to cover that more in the eyes video I'm coming out with tomorrow about their eyeshadow palette. But Honest Beauty in all of their color products stray toward a neutral base, which is also really helpful because you know that even if it does doesn't end up being your favorite product, any product you buy from them will work on your skin. It's not going to wash you out or look ashy or look too warm because it does all pull neutral. I did a little bit more of a breakdown yesterday talking about this brand's packaging and I don't wanna repeat myself. What I said in yesterday's video is true of these products as well. So in the interest of keeping this video short and watchable for you guys, I want to end the video here. But if you haven't checked out that video, go watch it and stay tuned for the videos that are coming up this week. I did promise five videos to you guys. Tomorrow's video is gonna be all about eye products from Honest Beauty. The next day is going to be lip products and then Friday is going to be a full brand breakdown that will not be a short video <laughs> but I will be applying a full face of makeup and let you guys kind of watch the whole thing come together and I'm going to throw in all of my thoughts on this brand's ethics and sustainability what is worth your money and I'm going to be ranking every single one of these products that I use this week in these short videos in order top to bottom it's going to be really useful and helpful to watch if you're thinking about buying any of these products so for now, I will hop off here. I love you guys so much. I hope that this video was helpful to you and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.